When you consistently underfuel your body, meaning not eating enough calories for what your body needs every day, your body is going to adapt. And how it's going to adapt is by bringing down that resting metabolic rate and breaking down a little bit too much of your muscle mass. So what do we do and how do we correct that? Let's take a look at a case study. Now this individual is someone who initially wanted to try to lose some weight. So what she did way before coming in to even see us was eat about 1800 calories a day, hoping that that would be a deficit and maybe she would lose some weight. Then she wasn't seeing what she thought she should see. So she brought calories down even lower to 1600 and then to 1400. And then by the time that she actually came in to see us, this person was only eating about 1100 calories per day. So we of course did her resting metabolic rate test and this is what we see. What we see here is that her metabolism had dropped significantly. Now we would expect for someone who, she was 5'8 and about 170 pounds, we would expect that her resting metabolic rate would be at about 1700 or even higher than that, and hers was only at 1378. So this is where the body is adapting. What's happening here is she was consistently under fueling by only eating about 1100 calories a day. And so her body is not just gonna consistently burn more than it's being given. So it slowly brings down that metabolism. And that's why we see that her resting metabolic rate here is only 1378 when again, it could be at 1700 or much higher. What you're also seeing here is that protein metabolism or breakdown of muscle mass is about 4.2% above where it should be. That means that her body is also chipping away at muscle mass to get additional fuel because she's not taking in enough calories per day. So the answer here is not to say like, well, your metabolism is low, so you know, just keep eating low calories and whatever, sorry, can't help you, right? The answer here and how we're going to correct that metabolic rate is to get her to take in more. So we're gonna pull her calories up. We're gonna go all the way back up to 1800 and then actually we're gonna go a little bit higher to more like 2300 to actually fuel everything that she's doing in a day, but we'll taper it that way just because of course it can be a little bit hard to start just eating a lot more food. But the reason we're gonna do that is because just as much as her metabolism dropped from under eating, it will start to pull back up as she fuels her body more and her body doesn't feel like she needs to consistently compensate. Now what may happen during this process is she may actually gain a little bit of weight or even weight just might stay the same or definitely won't come down. Now the reason that that usually happens at first is because the body is going to try to repair some of that muscle mass that had been broken down. Remember her body is breaking down 4.2% more of her muscle mass than it should be and how we're gonna correct that is by fueling it more. So the body may build a little bit of muscle which might result in a different number on the scale. That metabolism is slowly going to come up as well but we have to do that first. Again, what we're not going to do is say like, well, your metabolism is now at about 1300. That stinks. That's not what we do. We work on taking in more to improve that metabolic rate, get that muscle back where we want it to be, and then we can work on fueling you appropriately for your goals based on your resting metabolic rate in the place where it should be. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.